Hey folks, Larson Halleck here. Are you a fan of Larson Halleck and the Barbaric Gentleman? Of course you are, otherwise you wouldn't be watching. Would you like to help the channel grow? Would you like to help me out? If so, here's how you can. You can go to patreon.com slash Larson Halleck and join the ranks of these illustrious heroes. You can also go to www.paypal.me slash Larson Halleck to also donate some money. You can also buy my book. The Patreon, the PayPal, and the link to my book are all found in the video description. You can also follow me on Twitter or on Instagram. I no longer advertise my Gab because Gab sucks. And if you support me enough, I'm going to make Larson Halleck The Motion Picture, in which you will get to enjoy a riveting four hours of me and my friends playing grab ass in a public park. All I need is $90,000 to do it. And now, our scheduled programming. Face front, true believers. Lev Hemowitz, <clears throat> Larson Halleck here, making what was just a cheeky reference to the fact that many early comic book impresarios were Jews that anglicized their names. Oh god, please don't hurt me, ADL. <laughs> <clears throat> As I have alluded to in many videos, I am a big fan of superhero comics. I am also a physical culturist. So when I got wind that back in the 1970s, Marvel Comics published a fitness book, I was there. This is 70s Marvel, people. The time when they were seriously considering making a Captain America Broadway musical. There was an elf with a gun, and Luke Cage became Thor for a brief period of time. <laughs> what silliness. Not like the 90s comics, where the Punisher could use hate to fly, or the mid-2000s, where Spider-Man kills his wife with radioactive spider semen, or now, where Thor is a woman who runs around punching people while screaming Tumblr feminism. Comics are weird. <clears throat> anyway, what do the people at Marvel Comics know about fitness? Well, I can safely say that even on his deathbed, Jack Kirby could have kicked my ass, but I don't know about the other people. I mean, Stan Lee was pretty spry up until he passed away, but this came out in the 70s, Fitness back then largely consisted of not eating and chain smoking. Could be worse, at least they're not making it now. I mean, can you imagine Gabby Rivera giving you fitness advice? Whatever, let's just dive in. The Mighty Marvel Strength and Fitness Book. According to this book's back cover, doing this stuff will allow you to become a superhero. Evidently, J. Jonah Jameson did not get the memo as he's apparently having a heart attack or something. Namor is apathetically doing a single arm circle. Silver Surfer does squats with wildly incorrect form. And oh, for God's sakes, read. One of the hardest exercises is to push yourself away from the table. Suck on that, fatties. God bless the 1970s. Dr. Mintz reiterates that we can become superheroes if we do everything in this book. Dr. Mintz is from Morristown, New Jersey, so you know he's good. Chapter 1. Warming up with the Human Torch. Don't look, children. Don't get the idea to light yourself on fire. Just give me a few minutes and I'll replace this with Herbie the Robot. Torch lifts up his heel and lightly wiggles it. If you'll uh, pardon the expression, I don't see how this is much of a warm-up. Neither is the snap, crackle, and pop move. And really, Marvel, I think your audience knows how to do jumping jacks. And then Johnny Storm shows us his pimp strut. The book suggests that you do these outside, but seeing as that would likely result in you being the whipping boy of your entire elementary school, I would advise against doing it. This exercise is occasionally called the Superman pose, but, uh, you know. Now that we're done with the torch, we work on some more flexibility exercises with the leader of the Fantastic Four, Reed Richards. Here we learn the Cobra Stretch. You need a lot of flexibility when you punch your wife in the face. This exercise has all the strenuousness of an elementary school student raising his hand to answer an arithmetic question. I think I'll take the first panel and screenshot it out of context and I'll make Reed lose his job. Aside from helping you look good on a surfboard, or a date for that matter, posture makes sure everything goes where it's supposed to. As if anyone reading this is going on a date. And yes, this is from the era where Silver Surfer wore BVDs. He then assumes the position, and my respect for him declines even more than his crappy video game already made me. And then Norin does a toe touch in which his knees are clearly bent. Is everybody on Zen Law just so goddamn lame? Yeah, screw this. Let's learn something good instead, like Spider-Man sexually presenting himself. The next exercise is called the Little Miss Muffet for some vaguely arachnid reason. I, I see nothing about curds and whey. 
So, a bit of a stretch there, Marvel. <laughs> Yo, bitch, what's in the bowl? The next exercises are presented by Namor and Ghost Rider. Together at last. In all seriousness, this is fairly clever by the standards of hack 70s writing. Calisthenic movements imitating bicycling and or swimming. You got your flutter kicks, your arm circles and such. All of which are okay, but are sadly overshadowed by Namor's disco suit. But like I said earlier, swimming in the air makes you look like an ass clown, even if you don't have little foot wings. Especially if you don't have little foot wings. And then there's Ghost Rider doing bicycle moves, which is just embarrassing. Chapter 6. Bodybuilders with the Incredible Hulk. Capping off Chapter 6 is the Hulk doing overhead presses with pathetically tiny dumbbells. Anyway, put on your tastefully ripped purple pants and let's go. For the abs, you got the good old 6-incher, an old reliable ab exercise. Yeah, you got your push-ups, your dumbbell overhead presses. I would raise some concern about doing that bend at the waist, but the actual lift with the shoulder is pretty good. This is the best section so far, but I still feel it's somewhat emasculating to depict the Hulk using 5-pound dumbbells. Yeah, actually, can we replace Savage Hulk with Joe Fixit instead? Wouldn't you rather have him teaching you how to work out? And then Thor teaches us some ridiculous thing and some pectoral isometrics that I myself have written about. Now, to be fair, the reason Thor was half-assing this was probably because he was distracted by how embarrassing most neo-pagans are. Oh, I said most. Oh boy, powerlifting with Luke Cage. Finally, I'm going to be down with the urban youth. And yes, for those of you who are only familiar with the Luke Cage show... Luke Cage did dress in that terrible outfit back in the day. I know I've already used the term disco suit, but honestly, like, half of these people could be described as wearing disco suits. Luke, please stop raising up on your toes when you squat. You're just gonna give yourself a funky, blown-out patella doing that. <laughs> oh, those wacky Negroes and their improper conjugation. Slimming techniques with Sue Storm. Invisible woman, what did your husband tell you? Wives should be kissed and not heard. The reason that people are fat is because they eat more than they need. hi -oh! This section is right on the money. All things in moderation, eat healthy food, get your ass moving. So, uh, for those of you who aren't aware, for the first five years or so of the Fantastic Four's existence, Sue was um, a colossal dingbat who could be defeated with newspaper and really spent most of her time whining about how she had to go to the beauty parlor. Some of you might find it a bit strange that a neo-masculinist like myself can criticize this characterization of a female character. I like my women to be feminine, but there's a big difference between being womanly and being a blithering moron. But I digress, there's nothing inherently wrong with these exercises. Oh god, I already saw Spider-Man getting into his ready-for-love-making pose. I don't need to see the Thing doing that as well. What the hell kind of face is that? Uh, I'm trying really hard not to make a joke about Ben passing a kidney stone. And now Medusa teaches us how to mime having a stroke. Or, I don't know, tighten up your face. I question whether or not ripping out your hair will accomplish a damn thing. Now we have relaxation exercises with Triple J. This book is almost done, and I think that's the silliest face I've seen. Well, we're certainly not going to get ridiculous faces from Captain America and the Falcon. Although they do vaguely suggestive exercises together. I don't know, I guess every interracial workout session is just automatically homoerotic. <clears throat> I'm not going to address that Captain America got all his physical prowess from drugs. And that's what the Marvel bullpen can teach us about physical culture. It's not great. And yet it's hardly the worst thing I've ever read. A few good exercises, albeit nothing that anybody with any gym experience would be unfamiliar with, in delightful 70s not giving a shit, means that it's a fun read for a few minutes, if nothing else. I'm Larson Halleck. Nuff said. He can't be the Hulk. I'm the Hulk. Oh, please. You couldn't even change into Bill Bixby. Come on, damn it. Change. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, forget it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I really did it once. Yes, yes. I just wish you had the power to leave my store. Mm -hmm. Almost had it there. 